Okay, our next plant is number 11 on your list, Tilia tomentosa. This is the silver linden in the family Tiliaceae. And this is a really, really great street tree. Very drought tolerant, very urban tolerant, does good in, in uh, rough situations. And it actually has a number of really good ornamental characters that are, that are at least uh, interesting to me. So one, you can see the leaves are, are quite large. They're somewhat coarse. They're a very coarsely serrate, almost dentate. So they're borderline on having uh, large, uh, quite large teeth. They have an oblique base. That means that one side is larger than the other. It's a character that we'll see a number of times in several of our uh, deciduous shade trees. The coolest thing though about the leaves of uh, silver linden and why it gets its name silver linden is the underside has this uh, really uh, silvery white uh, pubescence underneath. And so you get this great effect, particularly during summer times when you get a breeze, uh, you get this uh, blowing in the, in the, uh, in the, in the wind and you, so you see this silvery sort of showing at you. Some other cool characters of, uh, that, that all Tilia share. Uh, one, they have this, this is a bract here, so it's this, this downy pubescent bract, and then the fruit are held underneath. So this is always a good character to at least get it to the genus. I like my students, um, I, of course I'd love for everyone to be able to identify this as Tilia tomentosa a thousand percent of the time, but if you see this bract with these fruit hanging down underneath, you should at least be able to get it to the genus Tilia. And that, in, in a landscape situation, uh, can oftentimes uh, be, be as far as we need to go. So, great tree. We're going to do a couple other uh, tilias, but they're going to be easily differentiated from Tilia tomentosa by this white uh, pubescence underneath. That's Tilia tomentosa.